Jesus. Is that right? Never said the ark. And the, the wise man followed a star. Do you believe that? And it passed over every observatory in the land, always in the Orient. Weeks and months are coming. And they kept time to the stars. They watched all night long. They kept time. And no one ever saw it. But the wise men did. Or they were looking for it. You'd be looking for Christ tonight. You'll see him. The Lord Jesus bless you. All right. Um, Billy, Paul, Brother Moore, some of you, is going ever is ready. Is, they got the whole line lined up, Billy, the whole 15. All 15 lined up. Now for the rest of you, try the ones that hasn't got a prayer card and know you won't be in the line. I want you to look this way and just believe. And you believe with the same kind of faith that that woman had touched his garment. And he turned and said, Thy faith is crazy. Do you believe he's the same tonight? Do you believe in all that howling mob, that poor little old blind man sitting down by the walls of Jericho, probably twice the distance of this village? A scream and a holler and have mercy on me. Jesus Christ has never heard his call. But he felt his face. That moved. And all that bunch of critics. And he turned and said, Thy face is saving. He turned into the audience and said differently, Why reason me in your heart? He said to the woman at the well, Go get your husband. And he said, I can do nothing except the Father shows me. I want to ask you something. If what I have said is the truth, if it is the truth, then God's obligated to his word. Not to me, but to his word. Is that right? He's obligated to his word. And then he will bring that to pass just exactly the way he said he would do it. And if he does do it, will all of you then in here, if you haven't received Jesus Christ, would you be willing to do it? And you, the sure that can see his mercy to others, yeah, he will have mercy to you if you'll just have faith and believe. Just pray and say, Lord, I, I'm a believer, and I want you to heal me tonight, and God will do it. We have just left Africa recently, where I'm to return again in the next few weeks. Africa, India, Palestine, Germany, and the ministry. And at Durban, South Africa, after about three or four people had passed through the prayer line, and they'd seen the power of the Holy Spirit moving in the people and seeing what God was doing, 30,000 accepted Jesus as personal Savior in one altar call. 30,000 at one time. So I believe that we'll take God's Word as the rule and go into all the world and preach the gospel. The gospel came not in word only, but through power and demonstration of the Holy Spirit. So the, the gospel is demonstrating the power of the Holy Spirit. I went into nations that say, now we don't want missionaries. We know more about it than you do. But the thing we want to see is somebody that's got faith enough to make God's word manifest. That's what they want to see. And that's how they get converted. That's how they find Christ, is because they, they believe in that man. And I trust to God with all my heart that there will be many, many here tonight who will find Christ the same to their heart. May the Lord Jesus of Nazareth bless each and every one of you is my prayer. Now, okay? No man seeks God at any time. God seeks man. Never did a man seek God in all the world. God seeking man. When man first fell in the Garden of Eden, it showed the strain of man. Man hid. God was hunting man. Jesus said, No man can come to me except my Father draw him. It has to be drawn of the Father first. And then I would like to explain something to you. Uh, seeing a vision, how many people in here ever dreamed a dream? Let's see your hand. I guess two-thirds of you. There is true that many people doesn't dream. That's your subconscious we're taught. Here's your first conscience. Here's your subconscious. Now, this subconscious is what I'm trying uh, with the Holy Spirit to work on. This first conscious, I might ask this man here, any man along here, someone, do you believe? Oh, yes, sir. You believe it here, but what about this man down here? 
He's the one that runs the ship, not the man up in the pilot house. It's the man in the engine room. Sometimes when you go to sleep, you go into this subconscious and you dream. And you dream of things you did when you were here. Then when you wake up, you remember things that you dreamed. You people had dreamed dreams many years ago. You dreamed them. You still remember. Well, there was some part of you somewhere. Isn't that right? Or you wouldn't remember it. Something that you dreamed many years ago. Now the man who sleeps down, his subconscious is way back. It never gets to him. But a seer, his subconscious is not back there. Neither is it here. It's right here. He doesn't go to sleep. He's got his eyes open and he just sees. Now that God gave that man a place where he could sleep sound and not dream. God gave man the way to dream dreams. I'd say, dream me a dream. You couldn't do it. And then God puts in the church some apostles, prophets, gifts of healing. Is that right? They're all for the perfecting of the church. Paul said, if, there come, if you all speak with tongues and the unlearned comes in, won't he say you're all mad? But if one prophesies and reveals the secrets of the heart, won't they fall down and say, truly, God is with you? Is that right? Yeah. Is that the gospel? Yeah. Well, wasn't that Jesus Christ yesterday? Yeah. Isn't he today? Yeah. You can yeah. believe him by speaking with tongues. Yeah. You can believe him by the Holy Spirit. Then I believe him in the full measure that he is. The same Lord Jesus. He's not dead. He rose from the dead. And here tonight, here at the platform now, and may he bless and help. I've never been in this country before, and as far as I know, there's not a living soul that I can see before me that I know. Very few here on the platform. Brother Bose, I remember him. I've seen the man there next to him. I don't remember his name, but... And I... Brother Lindsay, just a maybe three or four ministers sitting here that I know in the building. But God knows all of you. Is that true? He knows all of you. Now, this lady standing here... God in heaven knows I've never seen her in my life as I know of. Are we strangers, ladies? Yes. We are perfect strangers. But God knows her. Now, if Jesus is the same yesterday, today, and forever, let's change a picture now, what he was yesterday, when he was going to find out something about a woman. He said, bring me a drink. She said, why, it's not customary for this to happen, Jews and so forth, with the Samaritans. But Jesus, speaking to her a little while, he found just where her trouble was. Is that right? Yeah. Well, now, Jesus has risen from the dead, now, as living in us tonight, a little while the world sees me no more, yet you shall see me, for I, I as a personal pronoun, I will be with you, even in you, to the end of the world. Now, that's the gospel truth. You might not have read it that way, or thought of it that way, but that's the way it's written in the Bible. That's your theology might have bypassed it somewhere, but that's the way it's written in the Bible. I will be with you, even in you, to the end of the world. Now, I, you know I'm waiting for something. That is true. It's the angel of the law. <laughs> that's true. I'm just as helpless as it could be, just like any of the rest of you. And I'm here, perhaps, with critics sitting here. How many ever seen his picture? A note of my meetings have seen where the scientific taken his picture as a great light. It comes in, you can watch it. Yes, many of you, it's all thousands of copies have it been sold and so forth. The Douglas Studios in Houston, Texas has it where George J. Lacey, the, one of the best in the research in America, taken been in everything to see it wasn't a double exposure or something, and Jesus Christ has vindicated himself as being the same yesterday, today, and forever. Now, of course, I wait for him. Whether he will help me tonight, I do not know. And if I have said anything boastfully or anything that I've said out of the way, that God forgive me. I wouldn't mean to do it. I only mean with humbleness of heart to represent Jesus Christ, who's listening to me now. And may his mercy be here tonight. Being that I've spoke these things, and that being his word, may he come and help us with my prayer. And now, as the organ is here somewhere, if she will slowly, please, real low, the song only believe, and everybody please be in a, a mood of prayer, if you will. You don't have to bow your heads unless you're asked. Now in the prayer line, you just coming. What do you, if he rebukes you, 
You must, if it's, it'll be the truth. If it is, you must be willing to stand it. In the audience, any.